Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my channel, Deb Chanel's 40s World. You know that's where we get down at when it's coming to doing reviews on the Real Housewives of Atlanta as well as Merit and Madison and any other commentary you want to do on any other type of celebrity. Okay, but happy Sunday to you all. It's the beginning of the real holiday season. <laughs> okay, the hustle and bustle, the uh, long lines, the... Uh, rude people out there trying to get in front of you to get their christmas gifts and knocking you out the way because they want this item and you ain't getting out their way quick enough Ooh, child thank the lord my child is 28 years old i give gift cards out money and that's about it <laughs> i ain't going standing in nobody line trying to find the right toy the right outfits uh um -uh, no around this time only thing i give my family like I say, is uh, gift cards. If we're doing gift cards or we're doing presents this particular year or whatnot. But usually I just shop for my immediate family that's in my household that I live in, honey. I try to give throughout the whole year so everybody don't have their hands out when it's time for Christmas time. But usually we just get underwear for each other for the whole year. You know, like bras and panties and stuff of that nature. It's just the gift they keep on giving <laughs> for us that are, you know, pretty much watching our money and trying to put the best for effort the best foot forward and effort to actually partake of things that we really need and not necessarily things we want okay because we try to get those things throughout the year so our plate is not full with what we want to get and we have only this x amount of money we want to spend prior to the new year coming in so I try to get whatever I think some of my wants throughout the year instead of waiting it in, waiting for one particular season, one particular month to go and get everything I want. No, <laughs> don't do that. I stopped doing that a long time ago. Okay, but it's just the way it is. Each to its own, you know. But we're going to be stopping. We're going to be doing something with Eva Marcel. Okay. Because she basically said that she was a wanted woman out here, allegedly, by her ex fiance, ex friend, lover, boyfriend, baby daddy, you know, trying to make him seem like, you know, he's this rough vigilante running around here wanting to uh, uh, put her out of her misery or misery he thinks she's in and, and any other horrific thing he wants to do to Miss Eva. You know, that's Kevin McCall out there. That's the. Uh, uh, imagination or the type of description she wants to put in our heads about this young man and it ain't I ain't gonna say it's too far from the truth because he has been out here acting all willy-nilly and getting detained in the court system and the jailhouse and all like that but my whole thing with you Eva most people that are running for protection or needing protection from you know their assailants or whatnot they're not on a public platform where the assailant can actually tune in and try to track your behavior and your whereabouts. They're not on a public platform such as Real Housewives of Atlanta that's broadcasted globally, uh, internationally. And they're not on a radio show hosting as a personality, radio personality, and telling where their whereabouts is. I mean, you're saying and you're concerned about your family well-being, especially your daughter Marley, but yet you're doing all of this stuff that's quite contrary to what you're saying is happening to you in your everyday life, you know? So I'm trying to figure out, okay, you're concerned about this, that, and the third, but yet your employment is very publicized. It's very uh, public to the media because that's how you have to stay in tune of making your money. Then you're out there publicizing a home that you have just uh, landed a deal and made a deal that was all solidified and everything. And you're putting it out on Front Street. I mean, the little things that you give holding up a sign, I got it blurred out because I didn't want to, you know, put you out like that totally. But you're holding up a sign. And anybody who wanted to do real research, they could go and find out who makes those signs, what home builder carries those particular signs. And that can lead an interesting person to your whereabouts. Okay. Hmm. I mean, are you living in a gated community? Do you have a security guard out there like T.I.'s residence? You have to meet someone when you come into the gated community. They have a, a, a guard outside 
of their premises for their home subdivision. Do you have one of those type of uh, things going on, Eva, Marcel? I'm just saying, baby, because it ain't making no kind of sense. I mean, no kind of sense. Not when you get the press involved and they're doing a side story on you because they're confused, too. I mean, you got us all going in circles. Circles go round in circles. I'm going out of my mind. That's where I'm going. Trying so hard to be with you, Eva. You get me going in circles and confused. I'm going delirious, fooling with you. Okay, I'm just saying, Eva, you got me going in circles, okay? Because you're on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, honey. You know they always trying to pinpoint where y'all at, what y'all doing, how y'all doing, and who and what you're doing. Well, okay, but... It just don't make sense, Eva. Make it make sense to Deb Chanel's 40 Age World. Make it make sense because, honey, we want to know. We got questions, and I know you got the answers, but I know they're going to be all lies, so I ain't even going to try to make you respond to anything because, like I said, you say you're scared of this man, Kevin McCall, for yourself or your family's well-being, but yet you're out there pretty much showing your damn address, you know, to the man so he can just come on in, come on where your whereabouts and just start trouble for you. I ain't saying he's going to do anything to you, okay? That's not what I'm saying, okay? But what I'm saying, you putting your stuff out there where it won't be so hard for him to locate you if and when he ever desired to do so. But let's get on into this commentary that Atlanta Black Star wrote out on you. Yes, Eva, on you. And the correspondent or journalist, uh, her name is Angelina Vasquez. She wrote it out up on you on November 29th, and that was this past Friday. She titled her article as, What Happened to Eva Hiding? Question mark. Eva Marcel's photo of new home prompts fans to bring up her supposed running from her ex. Now, see, you see what I'm saying, Eva? They got you on Front Street, and who put themselves out there to get you put on uh, Front Street? You did, my lord. You did. And that house is quite small compared to the ones that you were looking at. It actually looks like a house my brother lives in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, girl, you supposed to be making all this money and all this, that, and there, but you kind of living like common folk. And I ain't saying that's been that wrong with it because that's a nice house, but I'm saying common people got that kind of house. Common people, not multi-millionaires and people that got it going on. You know what I'm saying? You're kind of looking like a little liar. Did I say it? Liar. Uh, 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 uh. Remember that song? Fire. Doom, doom, doom. Doom. Fire. Doom, doom, doom. Mm. Is where you walk and talk. Do you really bring me out? Something. Not your dynamite child. Yes, you are. But we're saying you a liar. Doom, doom, doom. Doom. Eva is a liar. Doom, doom, doom. Doom. The way she walk and talk. And really spill her guts is kind of confusing. Yes, you are. But anyway, we're going to go on into the article. That was just my sidebar, me entertaining you all. And that's what I do over here. It's a family affair, as we always try to keep it as, okay? But let's go into the article that Mrs. Angelina put out for us for her employer, Atlanta Black Star. Okay, it goes on to say, during season 11 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, fans were surprised to learn Eva Marcel fears for her safety and ongoing custodial friction with her ex music producer Kevin McCall. Um so much uh so that she is constantly finding new places to live. And if y'all were here and played party to looking at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I think it was season eleven, she was calling herself running from pillar to post, running from pillar to post to apartment to uh condos to how renting houses, just hiding in the bushes in the trees, in the sky light, in the breeze. You know what I'm just saying? She was just running everywhere. And trying to make excuses and trying to make us believe her story. And everybody looking at her like, girl, you better go on with your crazy self. <laughs> Even Cad had to be like, girl, that don't make no sense. What do you mean? Are you right? Girl, you ain't got, you, you, 
she even had candy frazzle and stuttering too, just as myself. I know candy wants to say, girl, you ain't got no money. Do I need to loan you some money off, off air, off, you know, the scene, behind the scenes? Because that don't make no sense. It's almost like you ain't paying your rent. You ain't got the money to pay your rent. What is you and Ma, Ma, Michael doing with y'all money? Hell, he's supposed to be a lawyer, an attorney at law. He ain't making no money, girl. What's going on? Tell us the real truth. <laughs> That's how I would have been. I would have been all over her at that restaurant. I'm like, girl, cut the camera off. Cut the camera. This is one of these silent moments that we don't need to take. We'll give y'all drama after this, but I just need to sit and talk to my girl because she's supposed to be going over there Rick and Smiling show at the end of the year. I don't know what happened with this Dish Nation because she was over there talking about Portia once, a bun once upon a time ago. They ain't picking at her baby. And the brat didn't like that. The brat like, uh hmm hmm Portia was here before you baby so don't get the alumni straightened out you just a newbie a wannabe with the dish nation camp so you better go on over there and sell your uh sheet well <laughs> she's supposed to be selling that y'all and it does look pretty it's probably maybe comforting i don't know but she does have her own bedding line so between dish nation maybe not because i don't think she's there anymore since Portia's back she was just filling in and then with the stuff that she did say about Porsche, I don't think Rick is smiling. I damn don't know the brat didn't like it, okay? So she might not have a job over there either with the new year coming in. So, uh, yeah, so she's not moving on, and Ricky Smile is still affiliated, affiliated somewhere with this nation. And then she over there allegedly calling people nappy heads and doing all these colorist things. I, I don't know if she's going to have a job with them either. But I don't know. You Like I said, you looking toe up from the flow up in your demeanor. Not your looks, baby, but your demeanor, okay? <sighs> But you say you're trying to run for this man. I don't get it. Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense to me. But anyway, we're going back to the article. We find, obviously, it's going off on tangents and sidebars so over here at Del Chanel's 48th World. It's just how I get down. Y'all was used to just seeing, I mean, hearing me go off on my tangents and me putting the microphone out there. But now y'all can really see how I get down. <laughs> And it just be like anything that pops in my mind that's relevant to the story or may not be relative, relevant to the story. I might just say it. I just might say it, y'all. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, uh, Marcel, real life concerns made it even more shocking to fans when the newly married model posted on Instagram that she and her husband said yes to a new home. Okay, Eva, girl, what is how I'm at? Because you kind of tease me like it's over there in Alpharetta somewhere. Or could it be in Stockbridge, Georgia? I, I don't know, girl. I don't know. I'm just saying the house is kind of familiar to what I'm used to saying I here in Georgia. Yes, yeah, because I was born and raised here. And I know a little bit, a lot of bit around the surroundings here in Atlanta, Georgia, Decatur, Georgia, Alpharetta, Georgia, Gwinnett, Georgia, Decatur, well, I said Decatur, Tucker, Georgia, Stockbridge, Georgia, Ellenwood, Georgia, may I go on and on and on, uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia, okay, Lithonia, all right, Georgia, but anyway, moving on, uh, it goes on to say she captioned the photo when God says yes, hashtag blessed, hashtag the Sterlings, hashtag we ain't got it. Okay. And I'm leaning to that latter part, hashtag we ain't got it. <laughs> Cause they saying you ain't using your you are not using your social security number around here. You using some other kind of identified number that's being able to get you what you think you need. Okay. I love that that's what the streets are saying, Eve girl. That's what the streets are saying. But I'm coming to you. I'm outside right now at your doorstep. Try to figure out wanting answers are you gonna open your door eva i'm just saying i don't know but you don't necessarily necessarily have to i'm just giving my commentary on my uh platform basically and addressing some other articles that were written up on you if you care to comment you can if you don't want no comment at this time i do understand because it kind of got you on the barrel at this point all right but anyway going back it says the post was peppered with comments such as yes bravo perfect and congratulations sis there was even a let them know evil and a shit the haters up found in comments under her post and I'm going to talk to them haters that always be saying, shut up. You don't know about this person business. You don't know about that person business. Hell, that person could be leaking their own tea to stay relevant. Did you ever think about that? And we just picking up on everything. Because I tell you once and for a while on my uh, platform, it's all stuff for you legend. It's all allegedly over here. I can't confirm nor deny, but I can make my opinion. And I can be very opinionated on it, okay? But that's, you know, how 
the cookie falls sometimes when you put yourself out there in a little bowl a little fish bowl yes you're peeping out at the world because the world is always peeping in on you trying to figure out what you're doing how you're doing it but i'm not a part of the paparazzi club i'm not a part of the ones that break the story you know the ones that have really been watching your every move i'm just commenting on what i see it's almost like i'm just picking up a magazine in the store you get where i'm going picking up a magazine in the store and reading it and just telling my family about it. I have adopted you all. That's why I call it a family affair over here at Dev Chanel's 40s World. So we can sit down and talk about it. Not saying that it's true at all, but just voicing our opinions on the subject matter. Okay, thank you. But going back to the article, it says um others left comments wondering if the mother too has to constantly look over her shoulder in fear of being stopped by her ex well eva i'm telling you honey you don't put it out there on front street anything you should have just took a picture on the inside of the house you know what i'm saying or some some things that just really weren't really flamboyant or, or really glossy and, and sparkly and shiny just a room just a plain room say hey i'm in my house now it's my house and i live here don't want you to come over on oh we call it uninvited because it's my house and i live here i finally put down some digs and got a mortgage okay that's all you could have said but you went out there with the damn sign showing the front part of your house and i'm like girl i hope you got security cameras around your house too i'm just saying for a person in your uh frame of mind that you think and your ass is trying to come for you okay baby i'm just saying have you heard of the witness protection program how they treat those individuals they ain't all on front street they have like a low below radar type of living situation okay and then they even actually have to change their names and work demeaning jobs that you probably wouldn't even find them working in you know i'm just saying even my goodness but welcome to my channel for those who are just tuning in get in where you fit in if sometimes you missed it pretty much towards the end go back and review it okay rewind hit that button set it back up and go from the beginning to the end thank you but anyway going back to the article it said but i thought you didn't want your donor meaning sperm donor mean kevin mccall meaning her ex okay to know where you are never mind okay and i'm about like that person that commenter who said i thought you didn't want nobody to know where you was at eve i thought it was like hush hush okay you got people watching you and he got people watching y'all so i don't understand baby make it make sense eva just make it make sense you're saying this man wants you and you just putting it out itself for giving us the address giving us the address you just putting yourself out in front of your house with a damn sign saying come find me oops you already done found me because i helped you how stupid is that eva how stupid is that but anyway never mind another commenter said hi huh congratulations but what happened to hiding from the donor <laughs> another one said exactly what i was thinking he definitely seems dangerous and you can now locate and he can now locate her as a home buyer okay not a home renter but a home buyer she she just set it on out down front street she buying this house she don't put herself into a mortgage situation where she paying the bank and once those 15 or 30 years are up she own that property that's access okay that's an asset all right but anyway going back to the article it says mccall who was thrust into the limelight with a feature on chris's brown hit song deuces has had more run-ins with police and social media meltdowns then moments with his uh with his and eva's daughter five-year-old marley ray sterling from a call to and that of the child's stepfather mccall's uh i'm sorry myself's attorney husband Mar uh, michael sterling on november 5th mccall was arrested in atlanta at a fulton county courts building ahead of child custody hearing mccall was live streaming inside which is not which is only allowed with written permission and he refused a deputy's order to put the phone away you're going to have to get to her to me marley your daddy uh finna get you baby now why would she tell her uh daughter that putting that fear in her daughter at a, such an early age but anyway she says i love you said mccall to the camera okay 
Why would he want to say that and why would she publicize that? Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, surveillance footage of the incident even shows the singer take a tumble down and escalator with a deputy. Okay, so he putting hands on the deputy and they're just rolling on down that escalator. Okay, major burns, bruises, and bumps. Okay, not in this article, just in my commentary. Uh, he held on, he, um, Kevin McCall is being held on an $11,000 bond and needless to say, didn't get to see his daughter. Well, of course not. He's out of his mind. He's frustrated. He has uh, a lot of things he got going on <laughs> that he need to take care of. And I'm sure he'll get help. I'm sure he will. But Eva, baby girl, from one moment to another woman, please stop showing your every whereabouts. Get you a job that's going to be out of the limelight. You want to be an entrepreneur. I see that you started your bedroom line. Do that. Do do sponsorships for people who's uh, trying to advertise uh, or whatnot. Do voiceovers or something to that uh, effect. If you truly are concerned about your well-being, your daughter's well-being, and the rest of your family. If you deem that this man is, in fact, lurking, stalking you, and want to take advantage on getting closer to you than you want him to because you feel unsafe. This type of behavior, showing a house with a sign, is not that uh, good of an idea, babe. It's not a good idea to be putting yourself out on front street i know you want to be a part of the limelight but hey you gonna have to pick your poison you're gonna be out there and not be scared and secure your whereabouts and not be having parties and and this that and third where you showing pretty much of your outside of your house where people can pretty much ascertain where you probably do stay you need to stop that type of behavior either or just give up the rules that you really feel endangered by this man because how you're playing it out there in these social media streets and putting your business out there baby girl you don't seem to be scared and pretty much uh any dry uh if you ever had to take it to trial nobody's gonna really take you serious not on the jury not of peers of your own uh you being a woman and set up the peers to be women that look like you uh that are favored in your race or whatnot and the judge might even look at you sideways she might be like girl 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 how can you say you scared of this man and you out here doing all this stuff that's quite contrary to what you're trying to present to us here today so even think about that think about that you better think think what you're trying to do to the public think well, let yourself be free. You need me, and I need you. With us, each other. Ah, y'all know I don't know the words. <laughs> it just sounds good at the time. But anyway, even y'all, baby girl, the message is still the same. You better think about what you're doing out here to yourself, to your family, to your friends, and just really to the show. You don't want to be no person up here being stalked and you trying to, you know, not really truly protect yourself. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. But anyway, that's all I had of this video. Hope you, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Tell people about me. Let's continue to grow 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 okay and i will see y'all next uh video thank you so much to my new subscribers that have come out and supported me and thank you for all my continued supporters that have always been with me from day one uh and thank you for any future subscribers that want to come over and be a part of the family yes deb chanel's 48th world it's a family affair don't forget it tag it do your notifications so you'll know the next time that I'm bringing out a video and you won't be left behind, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.